Good morning. Welcome back to another Sunday shop. Today we've come to Costco. We've never been to Costco before, so this is really exciting because we just got a card. Um, I have no idea what to expect. I've been watching some videos this morning and I thought, hey, I'm going to take you with me uh, to experience Costco through fresh eyes. <laughs> Whoa. Candles already. Milo's just said, what were we supposed to be getting? I'm like, I don't know. What is this? Cream liqueur. Chocolate cream liqueur. So do you, are you supposed to put this in your velvetizer or not? Oh my goodness. I mean, is this the dream or what? Almost makes me want Barbies again. This is interesting. Oh, it's quite, I've had one of these before. I didn't really totally understand how to use it. And I also can't see a price anywhere. Peel off mask, I'm more inclined. But again, I have no idea how much this is. Okay, we might have to have this. I'm going to just assume it's not that expensive. Massive pack of Kinder Buenos. So as I understand it, some of the prices have got VAT already included. And some of them you have to look down. So like 19.89, but the price you actually pay is the one with VAT. Unless you like wholesaler which obviously we are not. This is just the weirdest shop. Like all of these books and then chocolates and then clothes. Like a superstore jumble sale. Ooh. Tommy Be Oh my God. Tommy Bahama. And it's just like sensory overload. Leggings, joggers, massive coats. Loads and loads of winter stuff. They've got Armani jeans and North Face t-shirts. Like where do they get this stuff from? Callaway golf shirts for those interested. 20 pounds. I'm not 100% sure how much these things re retail for, to be honest. So I don't know how much of a deal that is. Cricket stuff. I don't know if it's just this one thing. It's probably just this one thing. They have got oh, some kind of voucher. Oh, that's actually not bad. 179, including VAT, for like a bundle. I love this. I don't use it as much as I should, but the Cricket Joy is like amazing. And then obviously the full on Cricket can do so much more. Okay, I saw this guy online. Now I'm really, really tempted to get this for my mum and dad for Christmas. And I know I've said, I don't do Christmas presents with grown ups, but my dad loves Jim Shaw decoration. He also really loves Disney. And he is 50 pounds total. I just think it's not a bad deal. Gym show decorations are expensive anyway. I think you'd love it. We really don't have space. I love that. We really don't have space for a big fridge in our kitchen. Uh, Maybe we should redo our kitchen just so we can have a massive fridge. But I've always wanted a freezer drawer. This is such an American thing. I always see people in America being like, oh, this is what, you know, ice cream and stuff in a drawer, in a drawer. Washing machines. Again, I'm not sure how good of a deal these things are, if they are. Uh -oh. oh, I've seen those online. Okay, so this I've seen people talk about. This is like a steamer. I don't know if it's only a steamer, if it cleans. Does it say? I'm not sure, but basically it's like a wardrobe that like steams your clothes. I mean, that is like the ultimate indulgence in a closet. I swear there's nothing that they don't have. They've got like some furniture units here. We had plant things, rugs blankets mirrors mirrors actual mirrors i actually quite like that is it a bit passe this whole like window mirror thing i still really like them they look very kind of like industrial pretend industrial but i was also looking out for stationary stuff um this is really really cool i mean not just for stationary but for makeup too here you go shows you the both um, and i was also looking to see whether or not they had any planners because i bought i love this i bought um a planner recently and it's just not quite what I was looking for. Ooh, little storage boxes. Oh, oh my God. That is 26.38. This is amazing. This is like 100%, although that's upside down, it's this. This is totally what would have been absolutely perfect back in the day when everyone was obsessed with Muji. How great would this be for makeup storage? It's really nice. This is, I showed you one of these in um, TK Maxx the other day, and this is kind of raised, which makes me think you might like trip up on it. It's like weirdly raised. Do you know what I mean? But it's really thick. They've got tiles and laminate flooring. Oh, lamps. I like these. Oh, that's nice as well. Oh, changed. What's the word for what it just did? The tone? What is that for? Where would you put, where would you put that? 
it is like instead of a strip light i think much nicer to look at than a strip light it's by a treadmill that's the biggest treadmill i've ever seen in my life i mean the treadmill is 799 pounds i'm not sure that's what we're gonna get i think we're gonna get a little treadmill for the garage cheap paces these are quite nice um oh wow 40 pound for the big ones and 30 pounds for the small ones that's actually a really good deal these ones are samsonite and they're 99.99 for a two-piece set that is an absolute bargain because samsonite's really expensive they sell meat right i'm not a massive cake eater but i was drawn in because these are enormous <laughs> look at these that's amazing 14.99 what an absolute bargain. And the plain ones are 13.99. Muffins, biggest muffins I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh, this is like being at like Walmart or something. Cause we just don't get this in the UK. These are amazing. Just giant cakes. As you know, Ella said specifically she really wanted um, a roulade at Christmas time. I wonder if I'll be able to find one that potentially could be frozen. 10.99, I mean, I enjoy baking. But if I came here like on the regular, I would never want to bake again. Also, these are following me around and I actually love them. I'm not 100% sure actually. I think 79 99 or actually 95 is that. It's pretty good for a massive fake plant. But this one is 170 and that's a bit pricey. Probably, you know, the going rate, but a bit more money than I would want to spend. I've got chicken and then I've got ribs. Full ribs, $13.99, and chicken wings are four forty nine. dollars It's amazing. I honestly God, can't believe we've never been here before. This is uh, amazing. Oh my God. Stew and dumplings. Not 100% sure I'd want to buy sushi from Costco, but tacos and pasta and stuff, absolutely. Oh my God, hoisting up that. Got like fruit and vegetables and stuff around here. And then we're kind of getting into um, drinks and things. So a lot of the drinks and stuff, it doesn't feel like it's a mega, mega deal. Um, I'm not seeing like, oh wow, I've got to get this because it's so cheap. These are a really good deal. I mean, even more so um, the cookies and cream ones, but if you like these frappuccinos, $7.49 and $6.49 for the cookies and cream. Grolsch is definitely a good deal. Eight ninety eight for how many is this? 12. That's good, right? I'm pretty sure that's good. I haven't seen gross in the supermarket for years. Just so much stuff. We've got loads of frozen fish and stuff over there. Um, and then obviously this is very much geared towards like parties. I don't know if this is because of the time of year. I just can't get over the size of the place and the amount of different stuff, the variety of things. I did get excited for a second because they have this, six bottles for 35 95 but this is not my favorite. I like the Apothic um, Cabernet Sauvignon don't like this one as much but again massively good deal because i think it's about eight pound a bottle in the supermarket actually i've just realized it's 43 14 so we only save like a few pounds actually it's not that great of a deal mm, this is tempting i do enjoy gyoza but loads of like dumplings and things in the freezer section cheesecake factory cheesecake factory cheesecake if you are into flavored gins this is pretty good 11.96 i think is pretty good for a, a bottle of gin that size and then the normal one is $17.99. They do definitely have some things in here that are a little bit cheaper though. You've just got to kind of like, don't just assume. I wanted some agave syrup um, to use in cocktails and that's $7.49 for two of them. I'm not sure if I'd use that entire thing and I do use sugar syrup and other things. There's just normal sugar syrup, so. Mm. But you know, it's there. And they've got tons of like hot chocolates and coffee things. Never seen a jar of jam this size that is enormous it's three pounds 29 Maltese spread really big nutella right we're getting this just because and it's ghirardelli ghirardelli is like the disney world oh my god that was so heavy yeah oh, this is massive yeah seven pounds oh it's four pack that's right it's okay um ghirardelli is basically like the disney world chocolate what movie does this remind you of a vat of olive oil a million chocolate chips hershey syrups glacier cherries Ooh, what is this? Like a tiramisu kit. So I'm not into tiramisu, but this is a no-bake one. You basically just use ladyfingers and you need cream and you can make a whole dessert. Massive spices, which again, these actually seem pretty good price-wise. 3 19 I feel like you could get a little, like a little spice jar for 3 19 I mean, maybe I'm shopping in the wrong place, but nacho cheese sauce. Do we think, I mean, this is heavy. Do we think this is actually sauce? 
or do you know what I think it is? That's actually a little bit gross. I mean, I suppose it's no different than it being in a bottle, but why does it come in in this make it worse? I'm realizing, I was like, oh, they've got lots of sauces. We've mostly looked at food, right? This is why you shouldn't come to places like this at lunchtime before you've eaten. Anyone interested in a tub of mayonnaise? It's like a pink can. Oh this stocking is ace. Is. This is 21.58. I love it. <laughs> Someone's not happy. Um, red vines. There's a massive tub of red vines. People go nuts for instant pots and air fryers and stuff. And they've got, uh, I think, 19.99 for the instant pot. And then I'm not sure, is the instant pot the same thing as an air fryer? Because that seems to be a shoe, or saying that it is crock pot. Is that the opposite of an instant pot? This is tempting because my mum's got one of these and it is amazing. But I don't think 129.99. Oh, it's not 129.99. It's actually 83.98, including VAT, but still. Not cheap. Ooh. Triple slow cooker and warming station. That's actually really cool. That's quite nice. A little bit nicer than your average diffuser. Oh, there it is. There are toys. We've avoided the toys so far. Even Lee's interested in some of these things. Look at this. Oh my God. I kind of want Milo to have this because I think he'd be really, like he's very interested in magic, but I think he could get really, really into it. Is that something that I want for my son? I don't know. Ornament bag oh, that's good. this is such a good price i've looked at these this is a four layer ornament storage bag this is actually really really good for 29.96 this is pretty good this is 15.98 um i quite like this so it's kind of like a what's the word i'm looking for what's the word name to them i want to say spirograph that's not right at all and um, but like one of those things where you can draw it and then rub it out and draw it and draw it and draw it and there's like loads of different sheets and stuff inside. Well, I like that. The little artist in me loves, I liked anything that was to do with drawing when I was a kid. And I would have liked all these painting things. Oh, it's like, um, what are they called? A GoPro. A GoPro. That was 23.36. Oh, this is cool. Look at this. Has Milo seen this? Enormous car. Oh. I'm so excited, I'm gonna have a niece next year. Let's look at the jewelry. Holy moly. Again, when I came in today, I don't know what I expected from Costco, but I did not expect a 13,000 pound diamond ring. Or a 22 and a half thousand pound gold bar. That aquamarine ring, I'll show you from above a little bit better. That's beautiful. That's really nice. Oof. They've got watches, oh look. Here we go with the colourful things. I really like the amethyst one too. Like cocktail rings. So much fun. They've got like gaming stuff, TVs, computers. Oh, I saw these on um, Bronny Mummy's video. I can't see the price of them. But she was saying that they were a lot cheaper than they usually would be. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. That's like, it's like soft and really squishy. Musical instruments. But look at this. Two. Hundred pounds? Is that right or is that bad? That's amazing. I really, really want something like this for in the bar. Got some perfume sets, which actually seem like quite a good deal for some of them. Um, oh, vitamins that we walked past on the way in. Also, we've got like actual flowers. We've got a flower section. Well, Costco's amazing. Um, <laughs> we're gonna go and get some food on the way home, and I'll show you when we get back why I actually bought. I don't feel like I went that crazy. We didn't buy like a lot of food or anything. We are potentially having some people around between Christmas and New Year, um, all being well um and i'm waiting until nearer the time because you never know but we may come back here for some food for that because there was so much okay this is everything that we bought which is not tons of stuff i don't think um this i just couldn't resist it's so cool it's also upside down here we go um let me just open it to show you the size of the drawer so just think this could not be better suited to make up they're actually really really big drawers amazing i can't wait to fill these up you can see in the top um like different uses for the drawers mostly crafting supplies but stationary stuff is usually great for makeup uh we've got the triple chocolate um brownie mixes i'll let you know milo picked up these i got this i got this for my dad who incidentally is called mick so i think he'll probably particularly enjoy that it's called old, old scent mick um but basically for my parents as i like a little thing because they're doing christmas this year at their house so 
um, you know, maybe I can pass it off as that rather than a Christmas gift because I promise no gifts. Um, but I think he's going to love it because he loves the Jim Shaw stuff. He's got a lot of Jim Shaw decorations. Hopefully he hasn't already got it and I've missed it. Um, I got a massive pack of Grosh for myself. I also got this. I've been really tempted to get the one from Balsam Hill. I've been looking at Amazon at these for years. So I'm really happy with this. I think it was £25. Not massively, massively cheap, but it's really heavy. And I think it's really um, substantial. I haven't looked online at how much this is going to be. Actually, do you know what? I might do that in a second just to see how much money I saved. Um, I got some uh, laundry, laundry cleanser, some detergent stuff. I, this is the one I usually get and it was a little bit cheaper. So I needed it anyway. Uh, this was more expensive than I thought it was going to be. I don't know what the VAT was. 20%, is it 20% at the moment? Uh, but it was like 15.99 pre-VAT. Not terrible, M much cheaper than uh, the Glam Glow one. But still, I don't know how much I thought this was going to be, but I felt like 16 pounds was quite pricey. And Milo got this as a present from us because as he pointed out, all the presents come from Santa. And so this is a gift from us. I can't fault him on that logic. I just Googled it and this is 45 99 online. So I actually got a really good deal with that. The old St. Mick is such a good deal. So this I found um, online, it was 130 reduced to 80 and I paid 50 total. So I actually feel great about that now. And this, these um, drawers on eBay are 40 pound and I paid 25. So actually, although it wasn't as cheap as I thought it was going to be, I think a lot of the stuff that they've got that's like, random things that would catch your eye is actually or are actually um just expensive things anyway and they do tend to be a little bit cheaper but it's one of those things a bit like with poundland whereas not everything's a good deal at a pound some things are actually cheaper elsewhere um but all in all a very exciting first trip to costco first of many i would guess